Hi, good morning. My name is Yossi Landau. I'm uh, 35 years in Israel. Don't worry, it's ours. 35 years in Israel. 33 years joining the force of Zaka. Zaka is an organization that helps and, and, and take care of every unnatural death or search for rescue in Israel. Our organization, we have 1,500 people in Israel. We're also recognized by the United Nations as an international, international team. We were all over the world. In India, I was in India, in Mumbai, when the terror attack happened over there. I was in Haiti when it was a, um, the, the earthquake, and I was by the tsunami. Uh, we were all over the world and trying to help people. You know, th there's no difference by gender, by uh, anything, by uh, religion. We take care of everything. And what happened on October 7th, Saturday morning, like everybody else, I was in my house in Ashdod with my family sleeping. 6.32 in the morning, we got the sirens, came up, and uh, that means when this happens, I'm a, I'm a team, I have to, that's, I'm starting, I'm starting to work. And we understood that this is basic only a cover-up, this whole thing is a cover-up. Uh, upon the invasion of the terrorists to Israeli settlements and to Israeli towns. The first thing, we start to get uh, some information and I started to head out. I left my family, I left everything and me, my crew, and we start to head up to Zderot. Over here. As we were arriving to Zderot, there were still terrorists running around like there is their own home and killing and shooting and we had we, the first thing that we tried is to save people and thank god we saved some i would say about 14 to 15 people that we saved we did them first aid as a medic and we we had them we had them saved but then we went next to the next level and we thought that we saw everything the next level and then when i got over here to this police station there was a building over here that i know from very close all the police officers are my friends i know them very well each and every one i was here i was serving here that it wasn't my my it's not my town but it's in this same area it's called the lachish area and i'm a i'm the head the commander of the lachish area in zaka so therefore we had the connections, the straight connections. By the way, the, the sergeant, the uh, Anturi, her name is Mali. I know her very well. She's, a, she's a, almost a daily guest in my house. She was fighting. She was fighting with the, with the terrorist on their own. She killed four terrorists. She was wounded. And the same to me. I was wounded, but right across over here, as you can see over there, I took off two of those and there, there was going on fighting over here when we took out when we came out and took out the police officers we saw they were fighting to the last bullet everybody they were heroes we took out from this police station only 20 terrorists that means the invasion was about 25 terrorists there's two cars over there in that parking lot. When they came in, when they were driving from here and they saw the terrorists coming down from there, they just went in to hide and they ran after them and they just shot them to death. It was three people. I saw it, I was there. I tried to help, but unfortunately there were, I couldn't help. So this is the place where we had, was great, great, that helped everybody and this was a police station as we know a police station does it helps everybody every citizen every civilian and they were murdered killed and then we thought our service our, our guys we thought and i can tell you 33 years in the force we saw everything we thought so that we saw everything we went out to the street 
there were people, um, I would say Chinese, um, Japanese, um, workers killed and murdered in the cars. We treated them like they were Jewish civilians and that's our job. We put them into bags, we made identification. We tried to do the most that we could. And we went out to the road, a, a, a piece of road that should take about 20 minutes. It took us 11 hours because there was bodies and burnt cars and vehicles on that road and people that were dead. I, we didn't even count them, but we had our crew and a truck going down, taking them, put them into the bags and put them into the truck. It was very awful. We couldn't see that. From there, we went to that place, Re'im, where the, where the party was, and we took 162 bodies. Again, I thought I saw everything, bullet wounds, and I can say 80%, 80% of these victims were shot in the back, and that's a war crime. Everybody that's shot in the back, and not once and not twice, or for nothing, trying to run away and shooting them while they were on the floor and shooting them in the back, it's a war crime, and there's no... And we never saw that, we never saw that. We saw it only from the videos and the movies from ISIS. I've never met the ISIS, but this is what we saw from the ISIS. Then, okay, so we said we have to go further. We went into Kibbutz Be'eri. Kibbutz Be'eri is a night was a nightmare. Was a nightmare. And I'll I cannot explain. I cannot explain my soul, my 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 heart. We can't tell that. We can't tell that. What we saw. I slept in the last week. I went home the first time was Saturday, this Saturday's last Saturday. I came home, was an hour before sundown, when I have my family, I have everybody, and they're worrying about me and about our entire crew. Can't eat because the only thing that we smell is bodies. That's what we smell, and we can't eat. Makes our heart. If you would see me a week ago, I was like with five kilo more. Now I'm less. And this is not only me, it's our officers, it's our, it's our army that says the same thing. And a little bit, a little bit what I saw in Kibbutz Be'eri and the same thing, they had the full time in, in, in Kfar Aza. They had the old time in the world to take care. When we go into a house and we're using our imagination, I said, the bodies is telling us the stories that happened to them. That's, that's what happened. Usually we take a body, close, it takes us five, 10 minutes and we're done. Over here, they were talking to us. We felt they were telling us the story, what happened. And when we go into a house and we see on one side of the dining room, it was parents, father and mother, hands tied to the back, and the other side of the room against them, there was two children, a girl and a boy, the same position, on the floor, the knees on the floor, they were tortured. We saw they were tortured, we saw on the bodies, and I cannot explain, I will not explain exactly what they did to them. But the main thing, and I wouldn't call them animals, to open up the, all the food that was prepared for the holiday and these terrorists sitting and eating while torching the father and the kid, the, their parents and the kids, they should see each other how they're being tortured. How evil could that be? Or when you go in and you see a lady, and we didn't know, we saw a lady on the floor, a woman, a lady on the floor, face down. We turn her around in order to handle it, to, to, to give the, the, the last respect. 
We gave her, we saw her. She was pregnant woman. The, the stomach is butchered up and a knife is still stacked in that baby. The unborn baby. It was still... Sorry. Still connected with the cord. And the mother shot in the back. Now you use your imagination, you see, did the mother see that? Did the mother got killed before? When you start to, and I have my volunteers, they say, y'all see, that's enough. We can't go further. We can't do it. What are we supposed to do? And I'll tell you, it's very weird what I'm gonna tell you right now, what, I, what we did. But th this is one hour techniques to go further because we know that it's a, we have an, it's a holy mission. It's a mission that it, it's, a, it's a national mission and it's our brothers and sisters. We just started to, to dance and sing that we are a different nation. That we, and I want to tell you one thing, this is not Arabs. This is not the Arab nation. We know the Arab nation. In our, in our, in, in our community, in our organization, we have Muslims, Christians, Arabs, we have everybody, Druze, we have everybody. They're helping us. They are, it's a different, I don't know if it's a nation or something. They have to be condemned from the Arab. Like the ISIS were condemned from the, from the whole Arab nation, the same thing has to happen over here. They're not Arabs. They're different. Only yesterday, only yesterday we went into Kfar Aza because unfortunately, unfortunately and with pain, we have to cover, we have to, the terrorists, we take them to. We have to give them the last respect. This is our, this is our mission and it hurts us. And while we're doing that, we found it was a 13 year old, I would say 13 year old boy that was probably tried to run, to run away his head was chopped off. We found it with no head. So we don't know exactly what happened to him. But as I said before, those bodies are talking to us. And they're talking to us in the middle of the night. They're talking to us while we talk to our children. And they're talking to us and they'll we keep talking to us. And the only thing that I can ask is forgiveness for them that we, we can't do our proper job because we are on the fire all the time. While we, I, my team was in the area. Sorry. While we was in the area, we got two terrorists. They were wounded, but they jumped out at us with a hand grenade. We had to take them down. We took them down. They, they, they took bodies. We picked up bodies, there were live grenades in the bottom of the bodies. That means that when we come and we take them, that it should explode on ourselves. We had miracles. I saw miracles and I, I, I don't know if the miracles is because what we're doing, but there is miracles. I just, my guys were afraid, frightened and I'm used to it. So I just, I took the grenade and I just, I kicked it out to the house. It took us two minutes and exploded. If that wouldn't happen, 15 of my guys would not be over here. And I will not be over here too. So I say, there, it should be, it should be. It's enough, it's enough. We had so much, we can't take it anymore. We can't take it anymore. I really, the, the world is, I, I feel it, the world is with us, with our nation. I know what other, I know what India is going through, I know what other, other countries is going through. But there can be, when I see now, that there is some groups that are supporting the Hamas, I don't know how it can happen. I really want to thank you for being over here and seeing with your own eyes what we see and what this is gonna cost us, I have no idea. 
but I know it's gonna cost us a price. Still, this can take another year, another two years till we could take it. And I'm asking, please have a blessing. Please make a blessing for us and for our officers that should be, we, we should go home normal. We should be seeing our children, raise our children as a normal family. That's all I can ask.